Hello everyone, this is Economics AS. Now we're talking about the summary of what we've done today. We discussed about economic agents. Who are economic agents that runs the economies? Individual, firm, and the government. What are the sectors that we have in an economy? Primary sector, secondary, and tertiary. Primary sector is a sector which is involved in the extraction of natural resources like fishing, mining, hunting. Secondary sector is a sector which is involved in the manufacturing or processing of input into output, such as car manufacturer, laptop manufacturer, furniture manufacturer, and so on. Tertiary sector is a sector which is involved in providing services, such as advertising, banking, communication. Sectors now, this is another sector. Sectors. There's private sector and there's public sector. Private sector is a sector which is owned by private individuals. The main objective of private sector is to make profit. And the secondary objective is to increase efficiency. Example, Nokia, Nike, Samsung, they're in the private sector. Now if we talk about the public sector. A public sector is a sector which is owned by the state or the government. Their main objective is to provide services slash welfare, welfare of the people. And the secondary objective is to increase employment by using labor intensive methods, mostly. Let's take an example of organizations in public sector. Uh, Pakistan Railway, Sui Gas, there are various examples of public sector. Now if we talk about interest rate, interest rate is the cost of borrowing. It is the cost of borrowing or the reward on lending. If the interest rate increases, individuals would save money, they would spend less, they would demand less. Factories slash firms will face less demand for goods and services. The TZOP demand come hogi, what would happen? Sales come hogi, profit come hoga, organizations come. Now we talk about investments. Investment is when resources are placed in a business venture in expectation for a financial return. That's investment. Okay, deregulation is reducing the amount of rules and regulation to make business prosper, making things easier for business. GDP is the total value of output produced by an economy slash country in one year's time period. Opportunity cost is the next best alternative foregone by making a choice. Hot money. Hot money is the amount of money, influx of money that comes into an economy by an increase in interest rate. If interest rate in my country increases, people from around the world would start saving their money in Pakistani banks. That inflow is known as hot money inflow. Every economy has objectives and these objectives are five main objectives that an economy has. Economic objective number one is reducing the amount of inflation, reducing the amount of unemployment, uh, achieving higher economic growth, improving balance of payment, and controlling the exchange rate. Inflation is what? The general and persistent rise in the price level of goods and services. What are two disadvantages of inflation? The purchasing power goes down and the uh, standard of living goes down. Unemployment is what? When people are willing and they're able to buy but they don't have funds available. Are we getting it? So, uh, no, uh, sorry. Unemployment is when people are willing and able to work. Willing and able to work but they cannot find a job. Ignore the previous definition. What demand you want to I guess. You want to. So, unemployment is when people are willing and able to work, but they cannot find a job. What are two drawbacks of unemployment? Dependency ratio increases, the burden on the government increases in the form of unemployment benefits. What is economic growth? When the country is able to produce more, the GDP increases, that's when economic growth takes place. What happens when there's economic growth? There is more employment, there is more economic activity, Balance of payment is what? The difference between the value of export against the value of imports. Exchange rate is the value of one currency in terms of another. Or in other words, it is the external value of the currency. Alright, let's stop it. Thank you very much.